Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud a mighty king's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad, as glory floods her, ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of his glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the peoples. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just with art and love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ our Lord, his Son, his only begotten who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night, when once you led your forebearers, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt, and made them pass dry shot through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin, leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. Oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling, to ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, oh, happy fault, that and so great, so glorious a Redeemer. The sanctifying power of this night 
Dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners. O truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth, and divine to the human. On this your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. Therefore, O Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed to the honour of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen.